friends. Yeah, welcome to Tazunomi Online Mathematics. We are still on the topic trigonometry, episode six. Now we want to take a tuition on angle of elevation and angle of depression. So that after this, we can be able to take some questions that came under this topic during WASI. Now, when we talk of angle of elevation and angle of depression, we are only referring to me looking into your face as you are watching this. If you are standing as I am standing, and if you are taller than me, for me to be able to see your face, I have to elevate my eye. So, I am looking into your chest or on your chest. Your head is above me. So, in order to see your face, I have to raise my head. Now, so when I raise my head from my eye level or my sight to your chest form a horizontal line. Then, on top of that horizontal line, there will be an angle of elevation. There will be an angle inclined between your chest and that of your face. So what I mean is that when I am here looking into your face, I can only look directly horizontally into your chest. Now if I decided to see your face, if I raise my eye, the angle inclined here is what we call angle of elevation. So the the acute angle measured up from a horizontal line. Measured up. Measured up. If you have a horizontal line, the angle formed on top of a horizontal line is called angle of elevation. So for you to be able to elevate, a child crawling on the ground wanted to see the father's face, we have to elevate their eye. That is angle of elevation. So the horizontal line is there. Then there is an, a terminal line. So this is angle of elevation. To see a tree, the top of a tree, you elevate your eye. To see an aeroplane in the sky, you have to elevate your eye, your face, or your eye to see. That's angle of elevation. Always on top of a horizontal line. I believe you get the concept. So a straight line, the angle formed on top of it is our angle of elevation. All right, now let's take the angle of depression. I want to explain the concept so that we can take a question. If you are talking of angle of uh, depression, meaning you are looking downward. So the angle measured downward from a horizontal line. That's the opposite of elevation. So I decided now look at your feet. We are still standing together. You are taller than me. This time around, I want to look at your feet. The nice shoe that you are wearing. I want to look at it. I cannot just stand in here looking at your chest the same time looking at your feet. So I turn my head down or turn my eye to look at your feet. I'm going to have a straight line from my eye down to your feet. And that will also form an angle here. You can see there's a horizontal line. From my sight to your chest is a horizontal line. If I decide to bend down, there will be an angle incline. So that angle incline is called angle of depression. So angle of depression is always measured downward and horizontal line. So if I'm on top of a building and I want to see something down, I depress. That's angle of depression. If I'm looking up, angle of elevation. Is the concept clear to you? Right? Elevation. Upward a horizontal line, depression, downward a horizontal line. That is good. Then we have achieved the definition of angle of depression, angle of what? Elevation. Now, before I take a question from or for angle of elevation, you can see that if I have this, don't forget a person is going to be straight, therefore this will be perpendicular. So with this, we are forming an, a, a triangle called what? A right angle triangle. So using this, I can find this, this, and this using trig ratios or a Pythagoras theorem. 
Don't forget, I am going to have a height. So myself will have a height before I will have my angle of elevation. So if I'm asked to find how tall you are, I just need to know how tall I am plus the distance I can find here using the angle here and the distance here. So if I know this, added to my height, I will get the height of the person I'm looking at. Do you get the concept? Let's take a question to that effect and see how we can solve it. Alright, so we are welcome back. So we are seeing this. If we have P is a point 2 meter above the ground. P is a point 2 meter above the ground. And 15 meter away from a tower. So let's just say me and the phone, between the phone. So I am the point P. It means the point P is just on my head, which is 2 meters above the ground and is 15 meters away from the phone. Now, if the phone is a tower taller than I am, it means at where the P is, if that is my eye, I am going to see the top of the tower with angle of elevation. So, if that is it, the angle of elevation of the top of the tower from where the P is, is what? 65. So let's say, I have, let me draw it here. Let's say I have the point P is here, but this is the ground. So P is 2 meters above the ground. Then P is also moving on a horizontal plane 15 meters away from what? A tower. But in this case, the tower is taller than where the P is. Therefore, the angle of elevation at the top of the tower is going to be 65 degrees. So, from P to the tower is five, uh, 15 meters. From the P to the ground is 2 meters. This is the top of the tower. So, if I label here to be tower, to be T, P, let's say I level here to be A. I can have, let's say B, C, if this is the ground, this is the diagram I will get. The question is, calculate the height of the tower. Don't forget the height of the tower is not from here to here. The tower is not hanging. It's moving all the way from the ground. Meaning, the tower is going to be the length C, A plus the length A, T. But I already know the length CA because from here to here, you can see it form a right angle here, sorry, a rectangle. So from here, the length, from here, the breadth. So here it is going to be 2 meter. Here will be 15. So now we can use trigonometry ratios to find the length AT. If this is a right angle triangle. So we can see this is going to be opposite. This is going to be adjacent. So it is only opposite and adjacent we are interested in. Therefore, I'm having opposite over A. That is 2. So I can have, let me see if here can work, tan theta, which is going to be 65 equals to 2, which is TA over what? 15. Do you get it? We are saying opposite over adjacent. Then the opposite is the length here. TA. So I put a dimension. You can put Y if you don't want to use the description. You are looking for this, so cross multiply. The length TA is going to be 15 times 65. I'm going to have the length TA is going to be 15 times 65 degrees. So from here, 15 will multiply times 65. So you have 2.1445. So now when you multiply this by this, we are going to get 30. So times 2.11. So we have 15. So that give us 32.16. Six, 
seven. So this is going to be the measurement from here to here. But we are looking for the height of the tower. So here we are going to say that the The height of the tower is going to be from here, which is also 2 meter. So 2 meter plus what? 32.167 meter. And that will give us 34.167 meter. So if you are looking for the height, so angle of elevation is just taking some concept of trigonometry ratios based on a right angle triangle. So if you take, if you are able to draw the diagram, Every question under angle of elevation and depression, a diagram must be drawn. Because there is a mark going to be awarded for the diagram. The moment the diagram is drawn perfectly, all other left is the principles of trick and a little geometry or arithmetic, then you are good to go. I believe you have uh, gotten the concept that we are trying to explain. Angle of elevation. I will take a question on angle of depression in the next video. Thank you for watching Tazunomi Online Mathematics. I remain Dr. Fred Yao. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye.